What about um, breaking stories? So one that springs to mind um, yep. is uh, Lockie Neal to Fremantle, oh, back to Fremantle. Cop some heat on that one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and this is one that you've got wrong, sort of. Sort of. Can you explain? Okay. So I'll give <laughs> you some background on that. You're like, I didn't get it wrong, mate. I must have told this story a few times, but probably not on in this sort of Realm. environment. So um, – and some context to this, I'd known Lockie. No, I wouldn't say I knew him well, but when he was in Perth playing for Fremantle, I he was at seven, so he was like we have contributors, like two or three players at the moment. It's yep. five here, Nick Nat. Mm. Um, at the time we had Lockie here as well, so I'd, I'd done a few stories with Lockie. Really nice fella. Um, you know, we didn't have. A, I wouldn't say we we're friends. Like I wouldn't text him. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, but just some context. So I did. I did have a sort of relationship. Wasn't just a player that played nah. for the team. You knew him. Yeah, a little bit. And he knew bit. you. Yeah, a little bit. Again, a little bit. Um, anyway, so a random, right? I get a text from a random maybe, I don't know, two weeks before the end of – or just before the finals had started that year. I think it was 2021 maybe. Yep. Sounds right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, looking to Lockie yeah. Neal. He wants to come home to Fremantle. When, sorry, um, when you say random, is it just like a number you don't have saved in your phone? No, nah, like a DM. Oh, right. Someone slid in. Yeah, sure. Okay. And um, they said, look into Lockie Neal and you might want to check that one out. Um, I shouldn't say random because this person has had some pretty good info in the past. Okay. And I don't know him personally, but we've had some chats. Okay. And his, his info is worth checking, put it that way. Right. Okay. okay. Um, just give you some more context. Mm, anyway, so I, I kind of laughed. I was like, that's not, that's not going to happen. He's got a long contract. You know, and it, you know, it, it, people talk. There's always rumours around that sort of stuff. So I just kind of left it. Um, and then it, it wasn't until like two weeks later I was having a conversation with somebody. Well, there's, the parties involved the Lockie Neal, the Brisbane Lions, the Fremantle Dockers, um, Lockie's management, any of his teammates. There's lots of parties involved, right? So I was talking to one of these parties about something else completely different. And then at the end I was like, oh, I heard this stupid one about Lockie that he wants to come back to Frio. And the person was like, ah, nah, 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 nah. I think there's just some wires crossed there, you know, like, you know, he's coming back for a holiday or something like that. And I was like, yep, yeah, no worries. Didn't think anything of it. Yes. Two days later, I get a phone call from this person again. They said, oh, I feel really bad. I've lied to you. It, it's true. And I was like, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> but the big thing was you can't, you can't do anything with the story because – you know, it's not public yet. He's still playing. Um, you know, the finals was on. Brisbane were in the finals. And it wasn't like the deal was done. You know, it was just like a, there was an interest there. Some conversation. Which Lockie maybe. has come out yeah. and confirmed. Like, yeah, there was interest there. I, w I was in those sort of conversations. Right. The conversations had been had. It's just, you know, till the season's done, you can't do a trade, yes. obviously. Um, anyway, so I had to wait until Brisbane were out. Yeah. And, you know, they lost by a point, I think, in the final that That's year. That's right, to the Bulldogs. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been sitting on this story for two weeks. I've definitely written it in the in the tweets. <laughs> Put it that way. In the draft. The draft <laughs> file was ready to go. <laughs> anyway, it gets to the day after and, and I'd kind of gotten wind that uh, there was a couple of journos over Reese who might have been sniffing around. I was like, because these things don't sit forever. Yes. Anyway, so I rung the person back and I just said, look, this isn't going to last another day. Like, I've got to do this today, but I'll work with you. Like, we'll talk about it. Like, we'll work through the story. We'll try to do it as, you know, fairly as possible. You know, I'm not going to – I don't want to sink Lockie. I like Lockie, blah, 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 blah. Um, anyway, worked through it throughout the day, made sure all the parties involved knew. The only party that I didn't contact was Brisbane for obvious reasons. Yes. Um, and I don't really have a relationship with them. In yes. hindsight, I probably – could have, but I think they would have been blindsided a little bit. Right. Anyway, so the story goes on the Sunday night. Um, I was carefully careful how I worded it. You know, he's he, interested in coming home, wants to play for Fremantle again, um, under contract, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, story goes bananas, like <laughs> absolutely bananas. And then uh, straight after, you're always waiting for someone to deny it, right? You're waiting for Lockie or Fremantle or Brisbane or um, his management, someone to come out and say, that's bullshit. Yeah. Or to contact you. Yeah. 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 Privately. And yeah. none of that happened, right? None of that happened. Um, and I will also say that I, I made sure that Lockie knew the story was coming out before it came out. I didn't tell him. I didn't text him. I made sure I kept a clear distance from him on it. But he knew. So okay. it wasn't going to blindside him. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the next day came. Brisbane have these sort of panic talks. They bring Lockie in for a conversation. They put out a release saying, 
yep, yeah. the, this is happening, but we're working through it with him and we want him to stay. And then Brisbane kind of got a bit feisty about it. We're like, you're staying. And then it kind of spun everything around. He ended up, ends up staying at Brisbane. But I'm, I will never, ever back down on the fact that that story was happening. And in hindsight, I actually feel like I may have impacted the outcome. Really? By doing the story that day. I, Positively or negatively? Well, I reckon there's a chance he gets to Freo if I don't do the story that day. But in saying that, I got messages from, I don't know if I could say the names, but six journos from the East Coast, good ones, who, who knew of it and were just, they were sitting on it and they were going to go the next day. Right. They were like, we had most of it, but we couldn't get it across the line. Well done, like that sort of thing. It's rare that you get that from other journos, particularly over East, but yeah. it was it was a loud chorus of people. They were on to it, put it that way. I wonder if I would like to speak to I wonder if Lockie. I, I haven't, I, yeah. Yeah, has I, he contacted you post that? I texted him like a couple of days later and I just said, look, mate, apologise if this has caused a shit storm for you, um, you know, no hard feelings, blah, blah, blah. Didn't hear back from him. Yeah, you, did I you? did see him. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. I didn't expect a reply. And then grand final week just gone, I did see him in Melbourne because I was hosting an event and he was on the panel. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I saw him, but he was fine. No mention Better went shit house. Lockie wouldn't answer any of my questions. Yeah, correct. <laughs> I think he might have been a bit dusty, to be oh, fair. Because I reckon, I reckon maybe he gets a better deal at Brisbane. You yeah. haven't said hey, this, but. That's, that's true. I mean, he got a contract extension, right? Yeah, who knows how many more zeros were on there. Correct. It, you know, I, look, at the end of the day, um, the one negative part of it was that the story became about his wife and her wanting to come home. Yes. And right. I think that there's two things I regret and that's probably the biggest thing, like even mentioning her in the story because I did make that part of it. Like, you know, he's got a young family and they want to come home and I think they copped some grief online about that and I, I, I wish that part hadn't happened. And, I, yeah, that's the one part that probably doesn't sit well with me but I did hold it for as long as I could. And it was a bloody good story. Like, mm. it was a bloody good story. Yeah, Brownlow so Medalist's favourite son returns. Massive, right? Like, it would have been huge. Um, but it know. wasn't because you got but it wrong. It, no, it, you didn't get and it I right. still, And I still get Brisbane fans. Anytime I'll tweet anything, right? I could be like, West Coast preseason game against Port Adelaide this time. Yeah, but what about Lockie Neal? <laughs> like, still. And I'm like, I got nothing. I got That's nothing. Right. Like, and then every now and then someone will jump in to defend me. I'll be like, yeah, but Lockie said he was thinking about it. And I was like, yeah, thanks, buddy. Mute, mute, thanks, mute. Buddy. <laughs> 